Hello everyone and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. Today is day 30 of Minimal May and we've got a really fun video today. Today we are testing out the 18 different uses of Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. I've known about this brand for a long time and I know that it's advertised as an 18 in 1 soap, but I had not actually ever tried all the uses. So Until now. Today we have tried all, well, we have tried all of the uses that we could. Many of them. We yes. tried many of the uses and we're going to review those uses today. And in general, I'll just give this spoiler alert. Overall, this stuff's awesome. We tried it all the different ways. I'm not a huge fan of a few of the uses, but the fact that you can have one product instead of 18 for like the 18 different uses, assuming you had a product for each of those, that's really cool. You can buy this stuff in bulk and it comes in a lot of different scents. And I don't know, I just think it's, I love the ethics of the company and Let's get into the different uses. So the first use for this is dishes and judging by uh, the efficient scrubbing that Sarah was doing of the dish, it did its job pretty well. For dishwashing purposes, maybe 9 out of 10? Yeah. All purpose cleaner, this worked awesome. We had some dirty kitchen countertops after a lot of cooking the past two days and it worked really awesome. Yeah. Uh, 10 out of 10. I think so. Uh, windows. This one was one that I tried where you went ahead and uh, washed the window with Dr. Bronner and a cloth and it cleaned pretty well and then put a little bit of vinegar on there to uh, clean off the Dr. Bronner. I'd say 10 out of 10. Our next use that we did not try today because we didn't really have laundry to do was laundry and you can use this instead of detergent with laundry and I read on the blog post that has all these uses on it that I'll link below. They especially recommend using it for bedding because it can help uh, prevent against dust mites. You also just want to make sure that if you're doing laundry with it, you do some vinegar in the rinse cycle which I think you can put in the fabric softener spot and that will just help remove any of the excess buildup that happens from the soap. Uh, the next use is mopping, another use that we also did not try. Now for body uses, as a face wash or a body wash, this product is awesome. I actually do use this most days for a face wash and I find that it's very effective. So I would say 10 out of 10. Yeah, I also use it so I would, I would echo that for sure. Uh, next one, hair. This was uh, all Sarah here so I, I don't... I don't know, what would you say about So for hair? hair, I think it depends on your hair type. My hair does tend to get a little bit more greasy or oily if there's not as strong, I guess, of a shampoo used. So for me, it wasn't my favorite shampoo I used. It was fine. Um, it actually, it didn't feel as great in the shower, but then afterwards it feels, it feels fine. I mean, a little bit more oil built up here than I would prefer to have, but I think especially if you have hair that's not oily or maybe even on the dry side, or if you are, if you have very, very short hair, I think this could be a great product for you. So I would say, not for me, maybe like an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. So the next one we did was teeth. I didn't actually mind this one too much. Doesn't taste yes, we like- Yes, brushed your, our teeth with soap. Doesn't taste like <laughs> your standard toothpaste. Tastes like soap, but uh, for me, I don't know. Not something that I would use all the time. I'd give it a seven out of 10. I mean, it seemed like it did the job. I think if you are in a pinch, it worked well. My teeth did actually feel really clean. I was not a huge fan. They even acknowledged on the website that yes, it tastes like soap and it did taste like soap. But I mean, now we've done it, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> people can say they brush their teeth with a soap-like substance. We can. Uh, the next one. Shaving. Yeah, so. So I shaved my legs with it, worked great. I have no complaints. I might shave my face with it in a couple days, but it takes a long time. <laughs> so. It can be used for regular bath. We, our tub isn't really set up for that. So we did not do that option, but Jake did a foot bath. And it was exquisite, 11 out of 10. I know you Whoa. can't technically do that. Just put a little bit of Dr. Browner in uh, some water and uh, put your feet in there. And yeah, you were very relaxed. I was very relaxed. We were also using great. the lavender mm -hmm. Dr. Browner soap for this. So I think that that's kind of a relaxing sort of thing. And speaking of relaxation, how about uh, clearing congestion? I'm gonna like this almost more than I like the, the feet. <laughs> so I guess 12 out of 10. Um, I don't play by the rules of scales, but you put the Dr. Browner in like a, a tablespoon of it 
-hmm. And then you go ahead and you put some hot water. We use like a hot water heater to go ahead and heat up our water, put that on top. Then you get a towel, you put it on your head, which I always like wearing towels on my head, and you <laughs> should too. And just smell that bad boy. And wow, it uh, really cleared up the uh, nasal congestion. 12 out of 10. It was, it was very nice though. So especially if, I mean, I know we're kind of out of cold and flu season, but if you're ever stuffy, that's a or great method. Just, just for the heck of it, it's fun. <laughs> a few more miscellaneous uses. We did try it as a fruit wash or fruit and vegetable wash. That worked fine. You dilute it quite a bit and then can use it to, you can rinse your fruit in it and then, then rinse with water afterwards. And I tested it with an apple, tasted great. And this is actually a use I think we'll most likely implement because we, don't actually really have a good fruit wash at the moment. So I think this might be a really good solution for us and get any of that uh, gross stuff you don't want on your produce lingering there, get that taken care of. We will not be using it for dog washing. This is we, the, don't have we, don't, we don't have a dog, so uh, can't really comment on that. Sure, it's great. Sure, it's great if my feet can tell you anything about it. And uh, plant spray for bugs. Uh, we also did not don't test have this. any plants. We're very lonely here. <laughs> well, um, we have each other. Got a plant on my shirt. Sustainability. So that that counts for something, right? And we also you can also use it to clean your toilet. But lucky for us, we were just uh, champion adults over here, and we cleaned the toilet a few days ago before this video. So scrub. Probably won't check that out. <laughs> scrub. It wouldn't be a true authentic test since it was already clean. So uh, we'll probably test that out later on, especially now that I know that it works. Regardless. <laughs> we had a great time. I think ultimately, I think that Dr. Bronner is a really great company and I really think we're gonna be using a lot of these uses on a more regular basis. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learned some new uses for Dr. Bronner's soap. We'll put the link in the description field if you're interested in trying out some of these uses for yourself. We'd love to hear how it goes. Maybe you have a dog or can try some of the uses we didn't try. If you're new here to Abundantly Minimal, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Minimal May is about done, but there still will be minimalist related content that you can count on. Sometimes Jake's involved too, he makes things more fun. And otherwise, we will see you for the next video. Bye guys. Bye. Hi you guys, just a little quick update here. This does mark the end of Minimal May. We had a great time putting videos together. I know I was amazed just by how our community has grown over the last month. We actually started the month with 33 subscribers here on YouTube and now we're already looking at over 350. So it's been really miraculous and you guys have been so supportive. Some great comments, you guys have been listening to the podcast. We're just really appreciative and I just wanna say thank you for that. Going forward, I'm not going to be putting out videos every single day like I did during the month of May, but there will be three videos per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so you'll be able to tune in those days for a video. Still related to minimalist content, a little bit more of food focus and travel focused content as well, all within the umbrella of minimalism. So thanks again for all of your continued support and we hope you enjoy our content as we move forward with our regular content schedule. Bye guys!